Playtime Co.'s new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist Mommy Longlegs in the craziest ways. She loves watching you play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. The new Mommy Longlegs from Playtime Co. What's the time? I promise I won't bite. Come closer, friend. I'll squeeze you until you... <laughs> Does someone need a hug? I promise I won't bite. Playtime Co. 
is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig, divorced but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... just trying to get the power back on. Here. for freeing me. I was stuck in there for so long. Thank you. I'd like to pay you back. There's a train station nearby. It needs a coat, and I have it. We're gonna get out of here. As soon as you get on up here,
you to trust me.
to the game station. I'm Stella, and we've got three super duper fun games to play. These little tests show us just how crazy strong and smart you are. Follow Mommy Longlegs down the stairs, and we'll start by playing Musical Memory. See you in a bit.
know when your birthday is. June 28th. <laughs> it's a wish. Happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday! Oh, happy, happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! I know when your birthday is! June 28th! <laughs> Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck. Violet, no. 
Click again for the punchline. <laughs> what do you call a dino with one eye? Uh, do you think he saw us? <laughs> what do you call a dinosaur who's a noisy sleeper? A Tyrannosaurus! <laughs> What do you call the scariest dinosaur? Me! Wanna hear a dino joke? Click once for the question, click again for the punchline! <laughs>
finally happened. After years of being ignored, the company actually heard all my complaints. Yep, they listened to them very carefully. I guess my words must have really inspired them to take action. Because the next day I got demoted down here. To the freaking island of misfit toys! Why do I talk to myself?
know when your birthday is. June 28th. <laughs> to be this smart. <laughs> Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Wacko Wuggy. Head downstairs and have fun. Welcome to Wacka Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun.
the button to feed me candy. Nom nom nom. Feed me more. Nom 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 nom. More, more candy. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> okay, no more candy. My tummy's full. Nom nom nom. I said no more. Nom nom nom! Stop! Nom nom nom! <laughs> Push the button to feed me candy!
sir. That's what I like to hear. So, Marcus, what happened? You see, I was heading home for the day when my apars realized that I left me bloody wallet in the cafeteria. So I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mop handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what'd you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mop handle jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So I, I took a peek beneath the gate, and some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? You're sure it wasn't a person? Ain't no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing me. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I haven't a bloody notion what it was, but it wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody... Monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will ya? Actually, never mind, get out of my sight. before you're so good seems like you're ready for the final game statues follow mommy down the stairs one last time i hope you had a fun day at the game station see you next time
Do you want to play with PJ? Caterpillar or Pug? I'm crowded on all four hundreds! Mmm, I'm hungry for some delicious bones! Do you have some bones for PJ? Brown! Brown! Do you want to play with PJ? Caterpillar or Pug? Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck. It was always so sad to see the kids People called me mommy because I was the closest thing they ever had to one. But they come for games and never come back. They left mommy to die alone. Mommy didn't deserve that. But you, you worked here. So if anyone deserves to die alone, it's you.
Don't make me sting you! I'll do it! We need to get out of here. <laughs> Just kidding! Go have fun!
I asked you to play fair, and you cheated! I hate cheaters! Now, we're going to play one last game! It's called Hide and Seek! Ten, nine, seven, six, five, four,
Log code 08502. In relation, experiment 1006, the prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door despite the other specialists still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. Did you kill her? Good. I'll board the train. We need to leave.